In a previous video, I created some copy geometry features in a part. And remember that one of the disadvantages of copy geometry is that it can only reference one other part. Let's say that I want to design a new part and it needs to reference multiple surfaces or components in this assembly. In order to do that, I'm going to use the shrink wrap feature. And don't confuse the shrink wrap feature with a shrink wrap part. Shrink wrap parts are used typically to share information with other people while protecting intellectual property and also to basically turn an assembly into an individual part. But a shrink wrap feature is used in top down design. All right, to start off, let me create a new part. Enter in the part number I'm going to give it. Use my default template. And I'm just going to locate it using the default constraint. Hit the check mark. And I have my new part created. Then I'll click on it and use activate so that any new features are going to be created in this part. To create a shrink wrap, the command is right here in the ribbon. And there are three different methods that you could use for creating it. And I'll show you all three in three different features. First off, there is outer shell. Like the name implies, this is going to grab all the external features, excuse me, external surfaces from the assembly. And if I go to the options tab, you can choose to shrink wrap, then exclude, or exclude components and then shrink wrap. Here we have a quality level. We can increase this. And normally you're going to get a warning that comes up that tells you, hey, if you increase the quality level, then it's going to take longer to generate this feature. But I have a configuration option, shrink wrap underscore alert set to no. And just like with the shrink wrap part, usually I start off with a quality level of around six or seven. And if that doesn't work for me, then I increase it some. We have some additional options here. We can choose to automatically fill holes, include quilts, and ignore small surfaces. If you choose to ignore small surfaces, you can choose what percentage of model size that it should be. Also, we have our update control options, just like with a copy geometry feature. So automatic update, when you regenerate, it'll automatically update the shrink wrap feature. Manual update will only update when you tell it to. And no dependency. Again, it's usually a one-way trip, but there is a hidden config.pro option that you could use in order to uh, basically reestablish that dependency. Now, when I do this outer shell, I can also choose which components that I want to use or not use by clicking on the subset button. And right now it is considering all the different components. What I like to do is I like to add a column in here, change the type dropdown list to model params, and then change this to PTC common name. And that way if your components have names, then you would see them in here. This particular model does make a difference because none of these components have names in here. But the point of this subset dialog box is that if there are components that you know that you don't want it to include in the shrink wrap, for example, maybe this part over here, you can click on it in the model graphics window and then change it and say, hey, go ahead and ignore this component. And you could do that for, you know, it's like, oh, don't want that one in there. Maybe I don't want this entire subassembly. Again, you can pick and choose uh, what you should have. And up here at the top, this is sort of the default rule for the shrink wrap. So if it's set to consider and later on someone adds more components to this assembly and the update control option is set to automatic, those components will automatically be considered when you regenerate the shrink wrap feature. All right, I'll go ahead and click open and few other things to note in here. From the references tab, you can specify if there are certain services that you always want to be included in the shrink wrap. You could choose which services that you don't want included. You can add edge chains and then pick the datum. So the references tab over here is in effect a lot like doing a copy geometry feature. 
Also, in the upper left-hand corner of the dashboard, we have our context setting. So by default, it's set to assembly. In other words, the reference path of this data sharing feature is going to go to the top level of the assembly. If you use the other button to change the reference type to external, then the path of the references are, is only going to be between the component that you're creating, or excuse me, the component that contains the shrink wrap feature and the components that are referenced. But I'm referencing just about all the components in this assembly anyways. So I'm just gonna go and leave the reference type to assembly. All right, I always like to change the names of my shrink wrap features to indicate the source of the feature. Hit the check mark. My shrink wrap feature is calculating. And if I expand the model tree, when it's done, there you see the first shrink wrap feature. All right, let's do that again, except I'm going to use the second option. So I'll click on shrink wrap change from outer shell to auto collect all solid surfaces. And here it gives me an option. Hey, would you like to exclude internal components? And if I click yes, and then go to subset, you'll see that a bunch of them have are automatically been set to ignore uh, because of that selection. All right, let's go ahead and click open. From the options tab, you'll notice that since we're auto collecting all solid surfaces, a bunch of these are grayed out. Again, references tab, you could choose surfaces that you never want to include edge chains and datums. Let's go ahead and change the name of the feature. Oops. And I'm gonna put dash two since this is the second one that's going to be in this model. Hit the check mark. Now it's going to calculate. This may take a while, so I might edit the video here. All right. Nope. That went pretty quickly. Okay. Before I create a shrink wrap feature with the third option, I'm going to hide these first two ones because the next option, if I have these here, they're going to get in the way of me selecting what I want. Okay. So I'll create my shrink wrap feature. And instead of using outer shell, I'm gonna change it to manual collection. You'll notice that the subset button gets grayed out. If I go to the references tab, essentially what I'm doing here is I'm picking the geometry that I want to use, sort of just like a copy geometry feature. And so when you use manual collection, I like to think of this as a copy geom for multiple components. And so I could say, hey, let's go ahead and grab this surface and this surface, they're from the same part, but maybe I want to also grab this surface from the other part. Here's a surface from another part, and so forth and so on. And again, you could use the details button if you want to use some of the advanced methods for selecting surface sets. Same thing for the details button for edge chains and you could pick whatever other datum set you want. If you did have annotations in the model, you could use the edit button in order to select those as well. All right, options tab, you have your update control options. And then from properties, again, always a good habit to change the names of your features. All right, hit the check mark. Now, one thing I like to use manual collection for, I find this very helpful when I'm routing cables or pipes, because if you do a shrink wrap and a very complicated assembly, you're just gonna get a ton of references in there. But let's say I'm routing a cable. Uh, if I use manual collection, I can pick maybe the connector where it's gonna start, the connector is going to end, and then the route it's going to follow. Okay, so here we have our Last one, manual collection. And so this tends to be very, very light. Let me hide this one and then show you the first one. 
Okay, and so here you see the option that we used. And then let's hide this one and take a look at the second one. And this was auto collect all solid surfaces. So again, shrink wrap feature, very quick and convenient for grabbing multiple surfaces that you want to use in design.